Arthur's going to come on here next if he if he if he would honor us with it. And you know, and he's about ready to pass his challenge. And um, you know, already went through phase one, almost done with phase two. Probably Monday or Tuesday, he'll he'll be done. And um, one of the things that um, that Arthur shared with me is I'm so proud of him because he did a couple of things in our inner circle. Uh, he shared with us where he sort of mind hacked himself and and figured out. Listen, I don't mind getting a lot of small wins to get to my goal. And and he pulled that off. But what what's really really unique about Arthur is that he caught himself doing things the wrong way, and then he started doing things the right way. And when it made sense, now he's about ready to pass the challenge. And I'm I'm super super proud of him. So Arthur, thanks for being on here. I thought I seen you in a car, but man, I that was. <laughs> I was coming home from Costco. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, Arthur's also great with magic tricks. I, I said, man, I hope he could talk in the car. That he's. That, then the next thing I know, he's in the universe. So that's that's pretty awesome. So, <laughs> Arthur, way welcome to the Ask Me Anything. So, why don't you tell everyone your experience and and how excited you are? Okay. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, it's Acoustics has uh, changed my view on. The trading. I mean, it's totally different from when they first started. First off, they have like way more traders and they're, they just added one uh, this last week, Golden Sky. Um, so they are getting more trainers, more tradey training. Go away. Sorry, my cat is bothering me. That's all right. Um, but uh, yeah, I've made mistakes. I like probably most people are going to do. And I failed my first challenge because first off, I was taking the trade alerts. Uh, and my lot size was way too big. And then I found that out the hard way by losing my account. So some of you don't have to lose your account. You can actually go and watch <laughs> Joel's videos so you don't lose your account. But I would say that Joel, his trading method is probably the most conservative out of all the traders because you're taking one trade and moving the stop loss and taking partial profit on that one trade. So you're only risking a little bit, uh, even though his his, um, his stop losses are really big, right? You're, you're only taking one trade, so and he usually will hit the take profit one or two. He'll usually hit those. Um, so when you're seeing like the pips that he's won, a pip is what just like ten cents. So oh, wow. ten pips is ten ten pips is like a dollar a dollar move in the market. So he'll usually set the take profit one for three dollars. So you're looking, he's looking for a three dollar spread or two or three dollar spread to take profit on uh, that trade. And then the next one is like a five or seven dollar trade. So from your entry point to take profit two is probably going to be like ten or eleven dollar spread, which is like a hundred pips. Okay. Um, so if you're looking at his pips at what he's won and what he's lost. That's like an 88% success rate, which is really, really good uh, for the traders. And he's just one trader. We have like right. a ton of others. So if you want to follow the conservative route, watch Joel's videos, trade like him, take his trade alerts. Um, and then, uh, so I started doing that, but the mind hack that Robert was talking about that happened was um, I was instead of going for these huge wins, like two, $300 trades that I'm trying to, to achieve to collect $500 trades to get to my goal, I was just thought, okay, how hard is it to get to uh, 50, 60, $70 profit and then close it out? I can do that multiple times a day. I can probably take 20 to 30 trades and I'm already at $1,000 profit for the day. So my whole goal was to for to win the challenge in five days, this past stage one, was to earn 1% a day. So to do that, I would need to make $500 in the morning sessions, $500 in the afternoon sessions. How many trades would that take? How many $60 trades would that take to make $500 in the morning? How many $60 trades would that take to make $500 in the evening? And then I would be done. So... If you go back to that video that you that you made about the compounding interest, right, um, and then you combine that with uh, Akashic says a thing. If you are on one of their higher accounts, the hundred thousand or the two hundred thousand dollar accounts, 
if you consistently make uh, grow your account 10% for three months, they will add on another $50,000 to your account. Holy cow. Yeah. So I'm on the $100,000 account. I made a little over $15,000 in 13 days. So I grew my account 10%, grew to another 5% in three days. So that's like way over the goal of the 10% uh, consistency for the three months. So that's all I really need to focus on. But think about this. If you think about, uh, you know, if you're a few years into the future, you're just trading and making 1% profit every day on your account. All of a sudden in a couple of years, two, three years, you've grown your account and you're at $4 million. Uh, the max is $5 million. So imagine you're making four, you have $4 million to trade with in your account but you're still sticking to that 1% that you're looking for a day. That's $40,000 a day. <laughs> you're just playing with the numbers. Your, your percentages and your profits are still the same, but you're just looking for that 1%. So it's, you know, if you're making $40,000 a day, just imagine like how much that is a month. And pretty soon you're going to overflow and, and reach that $5 million mark. You're going to have to do something with that money, probably put it in Trident markets or something. Maybe, maybe the, uh, uh, the account will be 10 million after that. Who knows? I, 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 I have a feeling I overheard that, uh, <clears throat> that they'll probably be upping it when people get to that point, because it just makes sense. Yeah. I mean, if you've gotten to that point where you've grown it to that much, like, what's really the risk? Because they have been on a successful winning streak and they've grown their account to $4 million. What would be the risk of increasing their account? Right. So that they can put more in and earn more money. Uh, it only would make sense because if they are withdrawing, like say you withdrew like a million dollars, uh, I'm on a 90-10 split. So uh, TradeX Mastery would get 10% of the million dollars. So right. $100,000. 100, <laughs> And 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 they and they gave you they gave you the leverage up front. Yes. Yes. So well, Arthur, I'm super, super proud of you. Thank you for explaining some of that to us. But uh, you know, it's funny because Arthur, when you and I first met and you constantly hear me doing the numbers in my head, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh it's it's cool to see that you're you're there, you know. So when people look at me and go, I don't understand why you work so hard. And I'm going, well, I'm going to have 10,000 active traders and 10,000 active traders are going to produce, you know, a million dollars a month in volume. You know, that's $120,000 a year in extra income over top of my trading. And then people just go, I don't, I don't understand where you're at. You know what I mean? And so you, you now, now sharing people that you, that you imagining your account with 4 million in it, uh, that's, that's that I, I agree with you that that will happen. I agree with you that that will happen. And, and one other thing before I go is that people are like asking all the time and I keep posting and I said, don't discount the small wins, the 60, $70 that you're making. Don't discount those because they add up if you're taking multiple trades right. and if you are risking more looking for those 400, $500 winning trades, you're also risking the loss of that. You're right. Risking, and if you're mm -hmm. taking Joel's trades, it's not $400 that you're risking. You're risking, if you if it hits a stop loss and goes down, you're risking like $1,000, right. $1,200 on one trade. Mm -hmm. So just follow the video. <laughs> follow the videos, yeah. He, he does have the most conservative plan, I think. Uh, okay. He said that everybody in his group has passed their challenge yeah. Uh, so well, when I did that video that you talked about on compounding, I, I remember my mentor sitting down with me 37 years ago and he was going, I said, I just don't understand how you make 62 grand a year. I don't get it. And he goes, Robert, I have 30,000 people helping me. And he goes, so if I have 30,000 active people in my group and every one of them just work an hour a month. I'm getting leverage on 30,000 hours. And I went, oh my God, that makes sense. You know what I mean? And so some will work more and some will work less. And so it's just so fun to see people like yourself and other people winning 
and when and when they start, then they go, they go. You know, you know, that's the whole thing off for you is that when you win and you start taking profits, is your to see if you really have the ability to keep quiet about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because that's what I love about Akashics. You could just be quiet. I'm just going to trade. I'm going to free up my time. I'm going to do stuff for my family. And, and that's the game I want to play. And then there's other people that are going like, well, if I can do it, other people can do it. And that's when you start going, hey. And 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 uh, so I'm just proud of you, Arthur. Thank you so much for Thank sharing. You. you back. No problem. You back. Thank you.